Can you automatically rule out a conventional energy company, a fossil fuel company, from being environmentally responsible and thereby qualifying as an ESG investment? What do you say? Well, I actually covered the oil and gas industry as I know, well. That's why I so ask. I, <laughs> that's why I ask you. So I, so I actually do think the oil and gas conventional energy can also be considered ESG friendly. Companies are making a more strident effort to reduce their uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And some of the natural gas companies even have targets being net carbon neutral by 2025. So I know that it's painted with a really negative brush. People, are, people look at oil and gas as um, a dirty energy source. Uh, but in the United States, it's, it, you know, we are one of the cleaner uh, traditional uh, producers of oil and gas in the globe. And our producers and operators in the United States continue to make efforts to reduce their footprint and have, you know, have initiatives that they are continuing to do and will continue to enhance um, to meet goals. And so like one of my company's range resources that I cover, you know, they will be, uh, you know, a net carbon neutral company by 2025. And then we also have several offshore guys that are looking at the standpoint of how can they use their expertise um, in, right. or in regards to drilling offshore to uh, you know, capture carbon. So I, I do think that the oil and gas industry can be still ESG friendly, yeah, just I, in a different venue. I just want to linger one more beat here, because, and I mean this in all good nature. You know that the, that the most orthodox of the environmentally responsible uh, investors in Europe would say, you're, you're all wet on this. That, 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 that's just not possible. And number two, they'd say that, well, these, these gas companies that are going carbon neutral, they're doing so by sort of greenwashing themselves, buying carbon credits and so on and so forth. Quick response to that before we, we move forward into some of the... So, in, oop, you lost your... Uh, we lost her. I guess, I guess we did. Why don't we wait until she comes back? Because I think we'll... I think we'll, I see her there. We're going to wait just a minute. But, you know, there is a much more orthodox view yes. in Europe. Uh, among stringent, the, you could call it. Yeah. Stringent uh, uh, among the Greens. Uh, Gail, you're back, and I'm delighted. You got the gist Sorry of my question. That. Don't worry about it. It happens to all of us. It's, it happens all the time. Please do not worry about it. You got the gist of my question. I, I did, and I, I understand where the Europeans are thinking about, and that's one reason you know you look at Total, a major European uh, entity in the oil and gas, has branched out and gone into solar. Um, you know, in, in regards to the investment, have their own battery company, for example. So, you know, I understand that in the investor's mindset mm -hmm. and the thought process, but I also think that you know you can't just paint everything with a negative, a negative one, one scope, one dimensional aspect. And you know, you have oil and gas is still needed in today's society. So instead of saying, hey this is a source of energy that's dirty, we should be embracing the fact that these companies are making strides and efforts to, you know, mm -hmm. be cleaner and more, uh, you know, pro-environmentally friendly for our universe as we set upon this energy transition um, as we move from, you know, more traditional sources of energy to more renewable sources of energy like solar. Yeah. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.